beef braised in Barolo, lots of Barolo. And you know, it sounds daunting. It might look daunting, but it's one of the simplest things to make. Of course, you gotta choose the right product. So, to braise for three hours, you don't need a filet of beef. This is a chuck roast, that's fine. I love the flat iron piece also, which is up from the shoulder. Uh, these are pieces that have some cartilage, that have some marbling, and they are the best because once they cook, they kind of break down. Almost fork tender you want them. So here we have the pot. What you need, you know, for braising three hours and uh, perking away, you need a nice braising powder, if you will, that's thick, that the heat goes around evenly. You, not, you need a deep one because we're gonna put this big piece of meat, all those vegetables. Let's season the meat. This is a big piece of meat, so we can Okay, roll it in the salt so you use up all of the salt so you don't waste any it's sideways. That's what I do. Okay. Is it hot? Okay. And what we want to do is to brown it on all sides. And you know, all of this adds complexity and deliciousness to the finished product, kind of layering of flavors the salt, the browning, then we'll brown the vegetables, and then we'll put all of this. Porcini, for me, for us Italians, the dry porcini are a great element uh, and deliver a lot of flavor to our soups, to our braisings. But what you need is to reconstitute it, so the dry porcini, you put some hot stock in there, let them reconstitute, and then we will Put all of this in with the braising. Garlic, I want to release the flavors of the garlics again. So every step I make is in function of building up that harmony of flavor. Onions, the onions cut big like that because I want the flavor of the onions, but I want to salvage some of them at the end. And you know, three hours is a long time of cooking, so what, what I did is that I leave the bottom part, the base of the onion, and cut it in quarters so that the onion still stays together. Carrots in big chunks of, as well as the celery. So some of it will break down, will become part of the sauce, but some of them I can salvage and make the decoration and serve it with the meat. So I think that we we kind of got, you know, that raw meat element out of this piece, nicer caramelization here. And now we go on with the, the garlic, the onion, carrots. Celery. Let me put the meat back in there. And, of course, the Barolo. Two full bottles. And then you need another two or three at least to eat this. So, you know, you gotta be stocked on your Barolo for this dish. And it's a great wine, full of body, full of complexity. But if you have any other red wines that you like, Cabernet, Merlot, by all means, you can use those. So let's... And do we put all of it in it? Yes, we put all of it in it. A little bit of peppercorns. A few gratings of nutmeg. And the porcini. So let me just give them a rough chop. Uh, mm. 
we will use the water and the juices. Just be careful that porcini, they are from the ground and they do have a little sediment. You don't want to put that in there. Herbs, rosemary and sage, you throw it right in. I love being in touch with you. And I especially love when you go to Ask Lydia on my social media. So I have a question from Rob Windor from North Babylon, New York. And Rob writes, how much liquid do you use for braising, Lydia? Do you cover the entire meat or only use a little liquid? Bob, cover the whole meat, three hours of braising. You need that liquid, and that's going to be your sauce. So I have some hot stock. Let's put enough of the stock that just about covers the meat. You bring it to a boil right on top of the stove like this. And once it is boiling, you cover it. You put it in a 350 degree preheated oven and you let it perk away for three hours. Braising is a great way of utilizing those secondary cuts of meat, which I love, whether it's the shank of of beef or is the shoulder of lamb or is the neck of lamb. You get the gelatinous kind of end, finger sticking good stuff in it. The sauce that it makes is delicious. You can dress pasta polenta. You can kind of really harmonize the flavors. Ah, so the beef in barolo is out of the oven. I kept it perking here, but I think it is ready and done. Let's pull out the meat. Okay, as you can see, it almost halved in size. Let's see what vegetables I can fish out of here. Mm. Now keep in mind, you know, Barolo, red wine, everything has a darker color, but you gotta keep in mind the flavor. It's delicious. I am fishing. I am fishing. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, some more of the... Yeah, the onions kind of all fell into the sauce, but we're gonna have a better sauce. So that's the meat, let's keep that warm. I have to strain the sauce because we have in here the rosemary, the sage, uh, the peppercorn. We need to remove all of that. Strain it from the sauce. Mm. Squeeze out all the goodness from the vegetables. Just like that. Let's take the rest of the sauce and just strain it all. Just like that. Okay. You need to do s slowly because you don't want to waste anything. You want to catch it all. You want to get out as much of the vegetable juices, the porcini, all of that stuff. Okay, we got most of it out. Tasting the sauce, let's see how. Mmm, delicious. But I wanted a little bit more viscous, if you will. A little bit more viscous. So to do that, you put a white pan on the stove and you let it get real hot and you pour the sauce in. Not all of it, you do it in batches and you reduce it to the consistency that you like. Okay, we'll do it in batches. We'll let that reduce. Let's get the meat ready. Okay. Ooh, it's 
falling apart in just the way I love it, in just the piece I wanted to get. Hmm. Right. Okay. I'm gonna reduce the sauce, keep on reducing it, clean this up, and then we'll be ready to taste. Masterclass, Raising Basics. Choose the right cut of meat. Learn how to build layers of flavor. Choose the right pot to fit your braise. Understand the technique of making a perfect braising sauce. And remember, the extra treat is the leftover braise. So the sauce is densening nicely, velvety. Before I serve it to my family, I must taste some. So let me cut just a little corner piece right here. Mmm, it's kind of falling apart just the way I love it. Just a little piece like that, a little piece of vegetable, a little piece of the celery. Mm -mm. Now the proof is in the pudding. Yes. I mean, you know, you need a fork, but you don't need a knife here. This is great. Just the way, I mean, I love braising meats. I love braising anything, you know, that mellowness comes out and that kind of really uh, homey feeling, smell, being love feeling. So let me taste. Mm. And you know what, at the end, there's that kind of tanning uh, acidity of the wine. It is just delicious. 